All right, man, we back. You already know what it is. I pray to the most high, y'all, man. Make sure you guys give a like to Lord and Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Now, listen, I know one thing. This camera better be focusing because I be noticing on my videos that it be focusing on, focusing on, focusing on. It's just a starter camera, man, so, but it ain't like it's cheap. But, um, let's hop straight into it, man. Five things handsome men should stay away from. Now, I want you guys to understand something very clearly. When you are attractive, there are certain things you can do, certain things you can't do, certain things you should stay away from, certain things you should go to. But, um, the thing is, man, is that these things that I'm going to name today, you must stay away from them. It, it literally means you're no good as an attractive guy. So we're going to hop straight into it. Number one, man, it's very insecure woman. Let me tell y'all something. Very insecure woman, like I said, in everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody in the red pill space, you know, in dating, you know that it's good for your woman to be insecure, right? But the thing is, it's not good for her to be overly insecure. And this is the thing. A lot of women will ghost you because they are so insecure of you. They're so used to dealing with bombs, so used to dealing with dudes that give them nonstop validation. So they just so used to dealing with dudes that want to wipe them up, be in relationships with them, you know, instead of making them prove their value. But when they come across an attractive guy, they're just instantly insecure. And the thing is, the reason, guys, why I say you do not want to deal with very insecure women like that is because, listen. One thing about very insecure women, man, I want you guys to really understand is that they are going to do things that is going to make you pull back from them. And they are very vindictive. So women like that that are very vindictive, they will try to do things to get under your skin. But um, the thing is, man, is that with an insecure woman, you guys can never have a, a normal cordial interaction. It's always some BS every time you look around. It's almost as if she's mad at you for just being so much better than her. Being attractive guys plays a big part in being better than a woman. Off the rip, man. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want, oh, oh the woman don't want nobody looking better than them. Sometimes a man can't help it. If he blessed with good genetics, what the hell do you want him to do? Crawl back into the womb and get an ugly face? Crawl back into the womb and get bad genetics? What the hell do y'all want him to do? In some cases, the man is just going to be more attractive. Even if, guys, think about it. Even if you got a, a, a beautiful woman, man, a, a beautiful, a nice, beautiful woman, you yourself as a man is just colder than her. You're just more attractive, more colder. You are going to be a more long-term mate than she is man most of these dudes look at these teens as temporary they they want to they want to fulfill that pleasure they ain't gonna want them teens afterwards a lot of these dudes just want that temporary pleasure with these women so tens know that man eights know that a lot of these guys just want to smash them and that's it but you gotta understand something man the colder you become as a man the more attractive the more handsome the more in shape you get as a man guys you are going to look better than a lot of women you are, in a, and I don't mean just physically, you know, being handsome, being attractive, and then being in shape, the way you carry yourself is going to be more attractive than a lot of these women. So, you got to understand something. It's going to be some BS every time you look around with this woman. She always suspects you of talking to a woman. You could be at, at a bartender. You could be at, at a bar or something. She think you flirting with the bartender, man. You answer the phone. She think you on the phone with somebody. With some girl She think you got a hundred different women Beating down your door And rightfully so She should I said so Rightfully so she should Because You know of course A handsome man is going to have his options But at the same time I'm not going to sit here and try to brag and boast about it In front of you while we on a date but these women in their mind, they so insecure. They feel like, oh, he's getting he's he's on the phone with somebody better than me already. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's flirting with the bartender. She's way thicker than I am. That's what he like. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of BS. 
You gotta stay away from insecure women, man, because they too vindictive, man. They way too vindictive for me, man. Very insecure women, they will do something to try to bring you down as a man, and you don't want that. You don't want a vindictive woman, man. You, you wanna stay away from a woman that's that insecure. I need a woman who is not that insecure. You know, she could be insecure a little bit, but I need a woman who ain't that insecure, man, who knows, you know what I'm saying, she's sexy. That way I don't gotta validate her ass 24-7. You ever notice, man, you on a date with a girl and she just wants you to validate her all the time. As an attractive guy, these women want your damn validation so bad, it ain't even funny. They just want you to validate them 20. You never said I was pretty. You never said I, man, shut up. And just enjoy the damn time, girl. You think, like, just think about it. Like, we, you on a date with a girl, you watching the movie, whatever you doing. You worried about the movie, you worried about the drinks, you worried about the food. Why the hell are you worried about me calling you pretty? Baby, and what I like to do, man, whenever a woman tell me that, I always just tell her, listen, I wouldn't be around you if you was ugly. I just keep it very bold like that because you need to know, like, also to shut the hell up and leave me alone about that, but to also know that, you know what I'm saying, you ain't. I'm going to feed you a little scrap that way, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it just gets irritated because insecure women just make the whole entire interaction just a, a validation race baby i'm not finna get they always trying to test you make you give them validation they trying to do something to make you give them validation and when you don't do it she gets vindictive so leave very insecure women alone man i know i just went on a rant with that but my goodness man i have been dealing with that lately when i say i've really been dealing with that lately man a lot of these women that i come across they just really insecure and they do these stupid things, man. But next is fake friends. I don't want no fake friends around you or me. You an attractive guy, get the hell away from them dudes. Them dudes are a complete, complete chaotic disaster waiting to happen to your life. I'm telling you right now, if you got a baby mama or something, them fake friends will be trying to smash on your baby mama. Them dudes will be mad at you for the girl that you got. A fake friend, I'm telling you right now, those dudes are cold-hearted. They heartless. They have the jealousy and envy in their heart with it pumping. They, they got to feel through their veins. Stay away from guys like that because as a handsome guy, you are going to do things that are going to make those guys very upset very jealous like getting girls to come up to you and they see it like man i don't like this nigga or they see what type of girls you get oh man i don't like this nigga they mad at you they see you you know what i'm saying keeping yourself up the part they mad at you about that some dudes would be like man why you gotta get a haircut all the time you know what i'm saying like just saying some crazy ass stuff so you have to stay away from dudes like that i am telling you man next is the hood now, a lot of, you know, quote unquote, attractive um, ghost like dudes, you know what I'm saying, come out of the hood and they don't go back to the hood for a reason. When you become attractive, man, if your ass stay in the hood, one of them thugs out there going to try to execute you. They going to try to execute you because they around there chasing that hood coochie, that, that, that hood big booty over there. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I ain't going to lie. But they chasing that hood coochie, that hood big booty. And guess what? When that hood big booty looking at you and you ain't doing no work, you ain't doing all that hyper masking. I got the pole. I'm a toad. When you ain't doing all of that, but them girls still somehow attracted to you. Because one thing about it, man, them hood dudes know that them girls like those dudes who slain, you know, who carry them guns, who, who you know what I'm saying, dig them down, right? They like that type of hyper masculinity. They, they like that. And they know it. That's why the dudes act like this so much because they know it come with holes. They know it. And the thing is, when you just lay back and you not, you literally don't have much of hood in you. You have, you know what I'm saying, you have some type of, you know what I'm saying, rough side to you. But you don't just have a hood nigga mentality or a bad boy mentality. You don't have that. Like that. But these girls are still very attracted to you for some odd reason. Do you not think them dudes ain't finna be ready to kill your ass. He took my girlfriend to smoke this nigga. 
literally. So understand it, man. You have to stay away from these hood environments, man. These clubs that got mostly hood people in it. Um, these area they got the areas they got mostly hood people in it. The grocery stores, man, they got mostly hood people in it. You have to stay away from areas that are going to be bringing these low income, low, you know what I'm saying, just just lower class, hive minded people. Get away from them, man, because one of those dudes will execute you off of pure envy and jealousy. Next is feminine activities, man. Any type of feminine activity you're doing as an attractive guy, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Certain feminine activities you should not be involved in, man. Because as an attractive guy, people are already looking to define one gay tendency. You just being single as a handsome guy, be like, oh, you must be gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay away from feminine activities, man. Stay away from it. Like, don't even get yourself involved in certain feminine activities. Don't even do it, man. Because then you are going to... You're going you to get into that category, man. And one of the number one feminine activities I can give you guys is arguing. Man, if you argue, I'm going to tell you right now, as an attractive guy, never argue with a friend. Never argue with a girl, a woman. Never, man. They gonna be looking at you as so soft, so so feminine. Ain't even funny, man. That, that's what feminine men do. Feminine men argue. That's something that women do. Never argue, man. Just avoid those feminine activities. And last, man, is avoid men who have too many problems with women. Now, I'm not talking about the regular okie doke women to to you know like she's splaking on you or. You know what I'm saying? She's playing games. Um, you know, the regular problems that we have, even as attractive guys, because women do play all these damn games. But I'm going to say this. You don't want to deal with a man that's having too many problems, that's overly emotional about female nature, that's very overly emotional about a woman flaking over him, that's very overly emotional about a woman not texting him back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they just don't have any type of in commonalities with you you know women don't really approach them like that women don't really show them no attention avoid men like that that's why a lot of times guys when guys get to come in under my stuff oh women don't approach me women don't do this i end up almost blocking them because i don't want that coming into me when i know what my experience is i don't want that coming into me as an attractive guy you do not want those negative experiences coming into you because then it'll come into your life and you don't want that but um, avoid men who have these have too many problems with women. It's a difference between normal problems and too many. The too many problems mean something wrong with that dude. Something is wrong with that dude. So you want to avoid men like that. You feel me? Men who have too many problems will change your judgment around. It'll have you thinking. You need the cold approach. It'll have you thinking, oh man, women just approach me because uh, I look feminine or or I'm not really that attractive. It'll have you thinking a bunch of bullshit. Literally. Hanging around those guys, it'll have you thinking a bunch of bullshit. You know a woman done approached you before. Very aggressive with you. Won't you bad? And she, I'm talking about she beautiful. Won't you? You know that. Women sliding in your DMs. You know this. You've experienced it. But guess what? Wrong men around is having too many problems with women. They don't mean nothing. They don't mean nothing. Now your mind getting changed. You thinking, oh, no, nah, I really ain't him like that. You got to remove him, man. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you continue to blow my channel up. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.